fin, 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 fin. Yes. What? We did it. We did it. We rehearsed that thing. What hours? Hours. We've been on that for days, I homie. I can't believe we did it. And then we landed, brought it for a landing. Yeah, I mean, and we stayed. We stuck. We it. stayed erect. We yeah. Uh, well, I don't know that. No, the plane. The upright. plane upright. Just say you know that. what I'm saying. Say that. Your okay. word choice is terrible. Right. Hey, everybody. Rob Riggle here. Darren Leader. Riggle's picks. We're back today. We got an amazing guest. I'm so excited. One of my good golfing buddies. So we're probably gonna have some golf stories. Sorry, you got to deal with it. Um, but just a funny, funny guy, sweet man, does a lot of charity work, um, and uh, uh, we're going to talk to him. Do you want to know who it is? Is he pretty chill, Lee? Oh, uh, no, you did. I did. No, you did. I did. No, you did. Pump it out. Pump it. Yeah, that's good stuff. You nailed that. I feel like I did. All right. You, you, we're going to talk to Brian Baumgartner, who is AKA known for his Kevin on The Office, and of course, Chili is a big part of his life. Legendary actor. He's a, think about it. He's a legendary actor t- yes. of television. On an iconic series that people will be quoting for the next 30 to 40 years. Yeah, until we're just dust and they forget about everything. Dust in the mm-hmm. wind. Hold on, that's not it. Hold on, let me find it. No, 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 no. Me, 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 me. I'm not going to find it today. No. Nope. No. My, 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 You're having uh, my pitch pipes. difficulties, right? Yeah, my, my pipes are sore. Okay. I was doing so much singing last night. Oh, where'd you sing last night? At the club. Oh, you were at the club? I was at the club. No way. Oh, uh, yeah. What'd you sing at the club? <laughs> what did I sing at the club? Yeah, what, did you do any sticks? Did you do any Celine Dion? I did Celine Dion. You did Celine at the, the club? <laughs> I did Celine at the club. Amazing. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you got to finish your words. It can't all be declared. Why? <laughs> all right, let's go talk to Brian. I think he's here. Brian Baumgartner. Hi, Brian. Da, 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 da. Yeah. That's Dude. the stuff. Hi, Brian. Uh, welcome to Riggle's Picks. Uh, Darren Leader's here. Hi, Brian. What's up, uh, Darren? How are you? Hi, hi, Rob. Hi, Brian. Uh, Brian, um, uh, thank you. First of all, thank you for taking time to join us because I know you get hit up to do so much, whether it's charity work, whether it's public speaking, whether it's personal appearances. And definitely podcasts. You get hit up to do a lot of podcasts. Well, yeah, I do. But for you, first off, the opportunity to spend some time with you, Rob, is always a yes. Secondly, we do need to we we do need to discuss something. Uh, I I I I don't know if if Ms. O'Quinn is is generally called out on this uh-huh. podcast. Oh no, not at all, <laughs> Ms. O'Quinn. I just received. I'm a very, very famous person. Okay, I'm uh-huh. a very important person. Extremely, extremely. Yes, this yeah. is understood. This is documented. I, che- I checked my email and I got a an email that said, "Join my Zoom meeting." Mm. Yes, that's I and that came from. I didn't, uh, I didn't know who that was. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> like, what kind of a Zoom meeting might I have entered? I didn't See? know. But is that's this the danger. my friend Robs? Is this my friend Robs, or is this like? I don't know. Yeah. Is it a trap? Swinger, swingers at noon. Uh, it, it is. I, I it's don't. Both. I kind of both know. at the same time, right? Well, that's what no. I want to talk to you about, Brian. Welcome to Swingers at Noon. <laughs> yes, we got him. We got, we got him. him. We got him. We got him. Yes. He's in. That's yes. What I'm talking about. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's great to be here. And by the way, I haven't seen you. Congratulations on the Chiefs. I saw you 17 times in the days leading up. Yes. Uh, to we that. did have. We did. We had like. We had multiple events that that. Brian and I were both at. Mm-hmm. That's yes. one of the reasons I roped him into coming and nice. joining us. <laughs> nice. uh, but um, uh, yeah, we and then we didn't get to talk after the Super Bowl. No, we didn't it was very exciting though. Congratulations. Oh well, thank you. It was it was very special. Listen, I I can only take a little bit of the credit. I, you right. know, I didn't. I wasn't out on the field bleeding, sweating. You're taking a little, even a little. Darren, I've been to three Super Bowls and we have won all three. Okay. That's a little Ooh. bit of magic. Okay. Wow. I didn't go to the one we lost. If you say so. That's cool. Wow. Man. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's a lot. It's a lot of credit you're taking. I'm just no, saying. No, I'm not saying. I, like I said, I'm not taking all the credit. Brian? That would be, be crazy. Do you feel like he's taking undue credit? I, honestly, I thought he 
he would and should take more. I mean, that's that is just me. Uh, I mean, it does beg the question: Where were you when they lost to the Buccaneers? Yeah. Was it? Did, did you miss, miss it for an important reason, or you just knew they were going to lose? No, I uh, uh, I couldn't get tickets, and oh. it was down in Tampa, and okay. I didn't like the vibe. I didn't like the vibe. Okay, I, I felt it in the wind. You're a um, you're a vibe guy. I'm a big big. Everybody knows that about me. You know, if the spirits aren't right, if the vibe edge isn't right, I won't even tee off. Sometimes if so I'm playing golf, you, like I'll get I'll I'll get out of the car, I'll smell the wind, and I'll just get back in my car and drive home. Is sometimes. that just because you hit a slice and any wind is going to just chuck it fully far right? I don't know. If we're not talking about slices, oh. we're talking more of a spiritual thing. Yeah, it's very like, spiritual. Yeah, are you a fair weathered golfer, Brian? You golf, correct? I do. Oh my I gosh. do. She's a good golfer um, too. Brian is a good well, golfer. Sometimes. Where, where are some of your favorite places you've pl- you've got an opportunity to play? Oh yeah. Um. Uh, well, I, I mean, the 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 quote unquote uh, highest ranking golf course, uh, the Golf Digests of the world. They kind of split. It's almost like every other year they do Augusta National, mm-hmm. uh, where they play the Masters, mm-hmm. and they and Pine Valley. Right. In Pennsylvania. Ooh. But here is the th- I so I have not played at Augusta. I have played Pine Valley, but this was a number of years ago. I was just objectively way worse at golf. Right. And living in Southern California, when when it when it rains, you just say, Well, I'll play golf the next 12 days. I'm not gonna play today. I don't play in the I'm not a I'm not a mudder. Isn't sure. that what they call the horse? I'm not a mutter yeah. golfer. And so the whole, I played Pine Valley. I did the whole deal. I did the afternoon, spent the night there. Incredible Ooh. experience. Yeah. Woke up, played the morning, but it rained the whole time. Wow. And it's a, it's a real golf course. I wasn't as good. So my personal experience was not, um, what, yeah, wasn't the it, best it, it could have been. It was not as no. I would love an opportunity to play again. My favorite. I just uh, uh, talked about this with somebody. My favorite is Shadow Creek in Vegas. Yeah, in Vegas. Wow. My favorite. I have not played Shadow Creek. Fantastic. I played Southern Highlands. Southern nope. Highlands is great. Southern too. Highlands is great. Yeah. Great too. But but the Shadow Creek is like. Uh, and this is I've heard this used elsewhere. So I'm not. This is, I'm not creator of this. But it's like they dropped a big chunk of North Carolina in the middle of the desert. Wow. Yeah. It's green, it's trees, it's lush, it's beautiful. That's There's amazing. rolling hills. I mean, you kind of forget you're in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Wow. Because especially yeah, where it's, it's built stunning. Stuff. It is. It's really nice. I also like, I don't know if Rob, if you're the same way, but I really like playing courses that I have seen a bunch on TV, like with the with the pros. That's why, you know, you go up in the Monterey area and you know, everybody talks about uh, you know, like real golfers, they talk about Cypress and they talk about these other courses. But like Pebble, when you're standing there, and you have seen the pros, the best players in the world hit shots on these holes. Yes. And now you have an opportunity to replicate it. Or, you know, near where I live, Torrey Pines, or, uh, you know, my folks live down in South Carolina, so I've had the opportunity to play Harbor Town a bunch. Oh yeah, wow. Um, where they play the the Heritage, mm-hmm. if it's still called that. I it don't is. know. The RBC. Yeah. RBC. RBC. Heritage. Plaid yes. jacket. Plaid jacket. There you dude. go. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um. So I really, I really like, I, I, I like that. Gives me a lot of a pleasure. Well, I just played uh, uh, Pebble a few weeks ago for the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation, and. Uh, I've played it when the sun is shining, and I've played it when it's pouring rain. Ugh. And I'll take the sun every day because that <laughs> wind and that rain, it, it takes the joy out of the day, even though yeah. it's still one of the best courses in the world, and it's beautiful. And it's beautiful in its own way in the rain. I still prefer a nice day. Have you yeah. have you played Riviera? I have. Yes. You played Riviera? I played Riv uh, twice now, and the first time I played it, I couldn't remember the first six holes because I kept going, I'm at Riviera and I'm playing golf, <laughs> but I'm like, I'm hitting shots and I don't even really remember hitting the shots until yeah. like the sixth hole. I was like, oh, I better, I'm also playing golf. Yeah. I'm not just right. at historical. But it's fun, it's you know, fun awesome though when you walk, when you get to play a course and then see it on television. I'm with you yeah. on that, Brian. Yeah. Because it is fun to see how the pros play and then be like, hey, I hit my, on that par three, I hit it just as close as some of the best from, in the yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. Did, you know? But you're hitting it from tees that are 
eighty yards closer than I the play Euros. the tips. Yeah, you do, yeah. Darren. I play the tips. Yeah, you do. Brian I, and I, I play the tips. Yeah, of course I play the tips. But if I don't play the tips, <laughs> then <laughs> but if where, I don't. where if I happen to not on that yeah. day, where I end up, yeah. not on every hole. I'm not like whatever, but where I end up is a. About the same place that they do. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? No. That it makes so it. That, so your second shot, you know, if you 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 know you talk about what Jack Nicholas called the the greatest shot in golf. Uh, I it's uh, number eight at Pebble over the can that the yes. second shot mm-hmm. over the canyon. Yes. You can't really hit it much further than I mean, there's a limit how far you can hit it because of the canyon. So, like, yeah, you're standing there where so many – you've seen so many Legends. shots either be incredible or fail or whatever. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's what's, pretty awesome. What's your handicap, Brian? You know, it is increasing, uh, okay. not intentionally. I'm I'm an idiot gamble golfer because I actually want, for my own ego, the number to be low. I get it. Um it's not smart. I think I'm like 9.2 now. I had it down in the like sixes, mm-hmm. which I was very happy about. Very happy about. Um, but it's 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 up right now. Yeah. Well, you know what? It it comes and it goes. And I'm, it, a, it I'm, a, I'm a nine four nine five right now. I think as well. And there you go. Darren's a two. So. No, I'm a three point two. That's because he's sandbagging. Yeah, he's a sandbagger. He's yeah, a sandbagger. I know, I know those guys. Shit. What? I, I, I know those guys. Yeah, so do I. I've seen you hit the golf ball. Uh, I, you're not a nine. He won't give me strokes. Brian. I will he give you strokes. I won't give, won't give you strokes. all the strokes you ask for. No, that's ridiculous. It's not ask. It's there's a formula. There's right. a formula, there's a, and I want five there's, aside. There's, I understand if, if you're a, a nine. If you're a nine and I'm <laughs> right. a three, and the difference is six, I get five aside. That's sweet math. No, that's not. No, that's not how it works, though. Thank you. God, this is. We're now just going to talk to other people. <laughs> yeah, it's the. It's the. You have, you, you, your handicap is a number, and then you play the course. So, like, yeah. if you come and play my course, yeah, course, yeah, huh? and and and, it, and we're six apart. You're giving me five aside. I can guarantee you that. That's that nine turns Thank into you. a. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Team 15, you're probably a four or five. That's five aside. I will kick your ass. But <laughs> I get it. I see. Okay. I'm starting I get to understand. The 10. I, I get it. I, I think I get where you guys are coming from. I like the uh, I like the fire that you guys are putting out there in the world to, to, to win the bet, win the game. And I'll tell you what. I will give you five aside because you have appealed to my ego, and I am I am stooping down. I'm taking the bait, and we will play okay. all three of us five aside. Okay. Oh God, if I give you five aside, five maybe. aside, five, five aside. aside. I'll tell you five what. Aside. I'll tell you what. I'll give you four aside. No, nope. five aside. That's five the same aside. strokes. That's the nope. thing, Rob. There's no, no negotiation. There's with not. Us. This is we not. Just, a, we just you. play the game as it should be played. Uh, yeah. So that means it's at, math, dude. Five it's aside math. is too much. You don't. You don't sit there and go. How much fuel do we need to get to the moon? I don't know. Four? No, it's five. <laughs> For it's what? Five. Five what aside. units are you putting? I'll say the math is the math. <laughs> Five there, five back. It's no, to the moon. five there and five no, back. No, sir, because I'm yeah. telling you guys, five. that's a lot of strokes. The ten strokes is ridiculous from a three to a nine. I'm sorry. I just I can't. I can't. It depends on the course. We could play. Hey, look, yeah. we could play. Uh, Let's go to Sherwood. Balboa. Okay. You probably don't have to give us ten there. <laughs> yeah. We could go to Balboa. How, about you, how many do you want at Balboa? I don't know. I don't. Have to, it's all math. It's okay. all done for it's all me. Math. I don't need to calculate <laughs> yeah. it myself. Right. Yeah. Okay. I need a big eraser board to do my math. Okay. Uh, but Westlake, even Westlake Village, uh, the the public course there is like a par sixty eight or a par seventy or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm not giving you four aside there. You, I know you're giving me five aside. Oh God. Anyway, this is listen. <laughs> uh, amazing. Hey. I was about to call. I swear to God, I almost called you Kevin. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I almost <laughs> called you Kevin. I, I am would... so sorry. No, you, your name is Brian Baumgartner. He played Kevin on The Office. Yes, and that is, I imagine. I met. I think I talked to John Krasinski about this once, and he said people call him Jim all the time in real yeah. life, not John. I mean, it's. I, I I would not have expected it quite out of you, but I, it's totally fine. I we were just talking about golf. This yeah. happens consistently which is guys that i play with 
Yeah. I have a, a, a Friday golf group. Okay. When, if I am in town on a Friday, I play golf. There's Great. no, there, there's like that. I play with this group and it's, you know, it's, I don't know, there's 20 guys and, you know, maybe there'll be eight, 12, 16, 20, whatever. Yeah. And we'll get tee times and we'll play. I'll play every week. And still, occasionally, I'm on like hole 12, hit a great shot. And a guy I know really well will call across the fairway. Good shot, Kev. <laughs> it's that it, it's it, it's and kind of a compliment, I, though. It, I mean, I, in a way, yeah, I, yeah. And and I don't say anything. I yeah. hear it, and then inevitably, uh, I mean, sort of like what Rob did, but not exactly. It, they'll realize it, or someone will be like, "Dude, you called him Kevin. What are you doing?" <laughs> and then after like a hole or two of the guy going like, Brian, it's great shot, Brian. <laughs> Brian. Brian. <laughs> Every third Brian, word. You need, you need a drink, Brian? Uh, <laughs> then they overstress it. Overstress they'll totally it. overstress for a yeah. hole or two and then be like, hey, I'm really sorry so, I said that. So Brian and I play at, at the Tahoe tournament uh, quite a bit. It's always fun. I always love when I get paired with Brian. because American Century be, Championships, I know yes. it's going to be a, a fun day up there uh, at the ACC. At with Tahoe. Brian. With Brian, and Brian, what do you what do you hear the most when you're? Because there's a, there's like forty to sixty thousand patrons out there every single day. It's, yes. it's insane how big this thing is. This is as big as any PGA Tour tournament event. So what do you hear now? There, I get holy moly. I get lines from movies. I get you know all kinds of things. What, yeah, I get a lot mm -hmm. of pals, a lot of in the face, uh, all that kind of stuff. What are you getting? Uh, I get a lot. A lot of chili references. Yeah. I mean, a lot of <laughs> don't spill the chili. Yeah. Um, the amazing thing about that is, I mean, it's like, so sank pow or a line. That's different. It's the, the people who, and God bless them. I yeah. love, I love, I love, but it's when they m make a joke very loudly because they're proud of this joke that they're making mm -hmm. that, that not just me, but Rob and I for the last 16 holes have heard 27 times if we're playing <laughs> together and they believe that this is a unique joke worthy of saying loudly to a thousand people around. Right. That's the part that's that, that is a little difficult. I will tell you about there. I get, I get Kevin a lot. The don't, I'll be clear. I get Brian way more now, but I used to play down there a lot with Kevin Nealon. And oh, this, yeah. This is a confusing five hours walking around because sure. you're hearing people yell Kev or Kevin. Yeah. And me turning is weird, right? Because <laughs> right. I'm not that name. You're almost in a no-win situation then. I am in a no I'm in a no win situation. If I turn and they're clearly looking at Kevin Nealon, yeah. then it's just sort of embarrassing for me and everyone involved. Well the the chili part the chili scene, the chili bit, whatever you want to call it from the sh from the show The Office is, you yeah. know, it's legendary. It's it's a it's an epic uh moment. And and now you get to quote carry that chili for the rest of your life. Yes. Um uh, uh, but you, it, it's been, you've taken lemons and not lemons. They're not lemons, but you made lemonade. Beans. You made lemonade out of this because you have a cookbook. I do. Tell us about yeah, that. I do. So I look, I, I can't remember if we've talked about this or not, Rob, but like when the show was over, I spent uh, several years saying like, that character does not define me. I am going to do. <laughs> Sounds like therapy. Oh, yeah. I'm only going to do different dramatic roles or, you know, high status, smart uh -huh. guys or like right. whatever the kind of thing actors say. Um, but the weird thing about that show specifically is I think it is the only show in the history of television that became way bigger once it was done okay. like you know we won the, the reruns yeah yeah the reruns the, the 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 stream i mean streaming basically becomes invented around the time the office is over it appeals to this segment of people but you know what i always tell people is when the show was on and we were on nbc and we were the number one show on nbc at the yeah. time 
but we were not friends. Yeah. Right. We were not Seinfeld. We didn't see me on the cover of magazines, Cosmo <laughs> every week going like we weren't we weren't that that kind of show. But then once it ended and, you know, it was the Netflix deal and part of it was COVID and, you know, all of these things happened that the, the show comforted people and they watched it. So anyway, after these few years of me saying, like, I'm not going to. Well, I just decided to embrace it because there was just no escape escaping it i mean at that yeah. point you know i hear a show that's so popular that is part of so many people's lives to fight it seems like almost more work than just accepting it yes you know well eventually yes i, I because i you know you see people who, who who that that happens to all the time i mean not to compare myself to him or the two situations but like you know malcolm in the middle ran for a long time yes, like it, it it was it ran for a long time and it was a show yeah and then brian cranston very quickly afterward was like yeah that's not me i'm gonna go do this other thing and and so i think there was this idea you know and th this was not too long before our show ended there was this idea that like okay well that's done and now we're gonna move on to something else but the show just yeah it just it, it it got more bigger and more popular. I mean, at one right. point we saw the numbers during the, you know, 2020 when the world went haywire and on Netflix, um, there was us at yeah. number one yeah, and number two was friends, uh -huh. but we were double what friends was. I mean, yeah. the show wow. got that big Completely. for a while. That's crazy. So eventually it was like, yeah, I'm gonna let's do a cookbook. <laughs> like, let's like, I I'm gonna start making chili. Let's go, let's yeah. go, guys. Well, don't go against the grain. At some point, you got to go That's with right. the grain. That's I think, exactly I think it's, right. And my my daughter, this is a great example. My I remember my daughter during the 20, 21, 22 time frame. Uh, COVID was a big part of all of that, right? And I think that's when she devoured all all the seasons of The Office, and right. went back. I think she did it twice because she was quoting lines and characters and like I, and it all happened she she jammed it all in binge watching in the whole the whole series in a matter of you know a year or two and then watched it again yeah uh, and because that she you know the, and it's true you know upon a second viewing you pick up so many nuanced things right. and and little performance uh things that are so special so amazing. yeah and you've stayed good friends with the cast because i see you and, and angela kinsey uh, yep. all the time uh ak doing yeah that? You know what is uh, the other thing? I'll tell you the story. I mean, the the what is it? The the Instagram doesn't tell the full story. I had two weeks in a row because we we, we I, how I describe our office family is really like your family, right? Because people will say like, "Who are you closest with?" or "What do you?" But it's really like your relationship with your mom or dad is different than your uncle or your sister or you you know. So like. There are people, uh, you know, Rob knows that we've been playing fantasy football, the office fantasy football league for 19 years. Wow. So like, awesome. Uh, wow. Rain Wilson and John Krasinski and myself and uh, Andy Buckley. And then there's writers and director crew that are involved in this. When it's football season, we're like doing what everybody does. It's like texting, you know, talking trash or whatever. And then there are people I talk about with business. And Jenna Fisher is, is, is someone that she and i exchange business ideas and stuff we're both in the in the podcast realm we talked on the phone lengthy conversations two weeks in a row yeah. i get to uh jackson hole wyoming last week look at her instagram and she's in jackson hole like we didn't come up like yeah. we didn't say, like we were having conversations like we still see each other, but like every detail doesn't come up. Anyway, we saw each other opry skied. Neither of us skied, yeah. but we opry skied there in uh, in Jackson Hole. So I got to spend some time with her just last week. It was that's, it was so fun. How fun. That is fun. I yeah. love that. Uh, that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna switch subjects back uh -oh. to back to golf. I have a cure I have a question oh question for you. Oh boy. Okay. No, no, no. So, well, he doesn't want to give us those strokes. I know. Mm -hmm. No, it's nothing Here to do. It comes that. again. So obviously, you love the game. You've played by yourself as a single. I imagine you've played with your group of sixteen to twenty guys. Sometimes you go out with your foursome. 
when you play in a tournament like the ACC and you're in front of that many viewers or patrons, mm -hmm. are you more invigorated? Are you more nervous to hit that tee shot? Are you more excited or are you more reluctant? I'm curious because there's that added pressure of people, you know, seeing what you're about to do. Oh. And when you hit the ball, there is no mistaking what it does after you hit it because you can't go, oh, no, 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 it's supposed to go straight. Like, it is what it is. They see it all <laughs> and you're exposed. Right. So is there fear or is there excitement? Is it all in one? I'm curious what that feels like for each of you guys. I'll look. Well, ahead. So I I think I, I need to add it up. I don't want to be inaccurate, but I have uh, had the opportunity, the pleasure of, I think, being there somewhere around 16 years in a row. Wow. Now. That's awesome. And I, for me, people keep saying there will be a moment where it will click and and you will start playing better and everything that has still has happened for me. <laughs> that still 16. hasn't happened for me. But here, but I do. I can't answer that question, and it goes back to something that I, I heard, read, um, that that Phil Mickelson said and was working on. And I I think this is what it is for me, at least in large part. There is the mental concentration that golf takes. Uh, I I have not figured out yet how to stay focused I, there was some quote and i don't want to misquote him but it was something like you know if you stay mentally in it 96 percent of the time that's like off the charts amazing right so i don't know maybe i'm going for like 70 yeah. it's a long way of answering your question which is i think for me not that i don't fail sometimes for sure i think that the holes where there are more people that th those do not make me nervous or th I, they, that doesn't affect me negatively. If anything, I feel like it helps me because I do for sure stay extra focused mm -hmm. aside from the first tee shot. The first tee shot is just terrible. It's sure. just, I don't know why it is. Just almost it, it every, just is, almost every, it's every all the game. adrenaline's cooking. It's, it's just, it's, it's hard to be, keep your, it's, it's a lot of adrenaline. Dude. Do yeah. you, do you feel, I appreciate that answer, Brian. No. Do you feel Rob, more invigorated do you feel like oh i get to so almost like i get to perform for no, these people i'm not excited you don't you're you're reluctant i'm reluctant okay. i'm reluctant mm. at first uh you know and for for people at home are like you know what are these guys talking about what is it you're our, we're amateur golfers and we're right. playing in a major golf tournament with thousands tens of thousands of people in attendance and then watching on and TV. they're watching us and i think they have some bizarre expectation that well we were invited there for a reason they must play golf we're still amateur golfers right. <laughs> we still are not pros not even close to it so we yeah. duff it we chunk it we hit it in the water if someone screams at us we're going to screw up you know and and putting your game on display for tens of thousands of people <laughs> is nerve it's a lot man it's yeah. nerve-wracking and and when you fail, you know, it hurts. Yeah. And then when you fail and someone yells, don't quit your day job, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you sit there and go, and, and you can't, the way you want to react is with a big F you. Yeah. You, yeah. you have to sit there and smile and go, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm the worst. Good and then thing you I'm funny. walk down the fairway just wanting to, like a submarine that went too deep. It's just imploding. You know, it's crumpling, you know, and that's, that's what yeah, it feels that's like. That's amazing. Well, uh, it's, yeah. Yeah. And the thing yeah. is, like, we play with, we, you know, we're the actors and the comedians in the group or whatever, and there's a handful of us, uh, and, and they're all great guys. And, and by the way, everybody's wonderful. It's sure. a wonderful thing. But uh, the athletes that are there, yeah, these guys, Tony Romo, Steph Curry, you know, uh, uh, Marty Fish, you know, go down the list. Players. Of real players, real, all the athletes are just somehow, they get better with the pressure. They get better putting their game on display. Right. They're better in front of... That's like a that. lot of years of preparation for th games and I things think, like that. I think they have another level of focus that they can go to that we uh, – and we do I – mean, I'm not knocking the entertainers. The entertainers do fine. It's, I think it's, it's just, a different type of focus. I think it's a different type of focus maybe yeah. because they're, they're, at least it yeah. seems that way because they're so dang good. It's almost like when they're you guys so dang good. are in front of people and you're you're doing your your skill set, yeah. it's very mental. Like you guys are, are – are, you're, you're more cerebral. When an athlete is doing his thing, it's almost like muscle memory. So you know, if a guy's throw, a quarterback's throwing a ball in front of you know eighty thousand people, yeah. 
it's easier maybe to block out because and, with the body because yeah. it's a different thing. Well, with and they're body. thinking about they're thinking about what they have to do in that moment. They're not like for us. We when you have you know ten thousand people lining or surrounding the green. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about. Dear God, I hope they back up a little bit. I don't want to blade one yeah. into them. Well, <laughs> of course, if that's your thought, you're gonna you're you're set. You you've already failed. You've yeah. already said. So you really it's a it's a you have to be so intentional, and that's exhausting. Like you were saying, Brian, golf is way more yeah. mentally exhausting than people realize, especially on a uh, in a tournament with tens of thousands of people right. watching. It's just yeah. more mentally it, draining. It, I mean, I'll give you a very specific example that you know that i didn't quite finish before but like for i think for me the the shame spiral is real oh, let's be real. low i mean that is that's real <laughs> i don't think for me it's related to the people watching as much as just everything is public like it's all reported like yeah. it's just there's just a like oh god now yeah. so and so every is swing beat me. is documented yeah, yeah. Uh, for but for me, I think it's like, and Rob, you're literally the only person listening who'll know what I mean. But like, you you have these intense holes with a lot of people watching, and then you get out to like twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, and you're like, okay, there's nobody around now. Like, let's just play golf. Yeah. And then, but there's something in my mind that just relaxes in a weird way that now suddenly like. Wait a second. Now I literally am slicing the ball. Like, what am I doing? Like, stop yeah. it. There's like, no reason for stay, this now. They in it. They're they're whole four, which I think you know at least at, on the tournament is probably the easiest hole in the course. I've made so many bogeys and double bogeys there <laughs> for no reason except that just there's kind of nobody. It's the bat. It's literally as far away from the clubhouse uh-huh. as you can get. There's nobody there, uh-huh. and you're like, yeah. It's a par five. I can get there in two water right. chunk <laughs> skull three putt double bogey, and you're like, yeah. "What just happened? What that, happened to me?" It's snowballs. That's the thing about the game. It's such a mental game that once something comes unraveled, it, you know, it's like trying to dig a hole in the sand. It just keeps caving in on you, and you you you're desperate to to get a hold of the situation. And then the, yeah. the tighter you squeeze, the more sand goes through your hand. It's, it, exactly, you know, it's, it's hilarious. It's, it's and you have to laugh at some point. And then usually when you give it up and you st- stop trying to control it, all of a sudden you you find your swing again. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's amazing. You know, like when I go out, if I don't have like a little game with a buddy, yeah. like, you know, even a dollar a hole, it, yeah. does, it doesn't matter. If there's nothing on the line, I, I mean, I love the game. Mm-hmm. I will play five days a week if I can. But I just, I go, ah, it's not, there's nothing, nothing really matters about this shot unless I'm practicing. But if I have a little juice on it and there's some trash talk with my buddy, that yeah. keeps me super engaged. And if there's m- the more people that are watching, I, I love, like that. I love that pressure. Like yeah. That. yeah. See, you know what? You're actually bringing up another interesting point, which is I think that is a problem for me there. Because, and Rob and I have bet a little bit or like whatever, but like there is also like, you know, I like Rob and, and so like, I, I don't want to get in his head or I don't want to like ruin the day for somebody him. else. I know yeah. he's got, there's people watching and, you know, he's got his own thing going on, which, you know, may change 12 times during 18 holes, depending <laughs> on how he's playing. Oh yeah. So I, I don't want to do that. So it doesn't, it's not the same as like. I mean, Rob and I are buddies. I, if I play with a buddy at home and they're playing bad, oh, I will squeeze them. <laughs> yes, I will. Sir. Oh, you wanna, you wanna, you, you wanna press? Like, yeah. okay, let's go. Like, let's. Love I'll it. take another bet. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm not gonna do that. Then I'm like, oh God, Rob's not playing as well today. That's so bad. I feel bad for him. Yeah. And then suddenly, well, we started I doing a bet. <laughs> we started doing a bet. We uh, did. Brian and I and Kelsey, Travis Kelsey. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, and we did a bet last year where we said, look, just we spread it out. So we just say who, whoever, because there's 80 or 90 people in the field, whoever finishes at the top of us three. Okay. 55, 60, whatever it is, whoever's the top, they, and we all put in 100 bucks or whatever, and they get the pot. It's stayed that way. That way you can have a bad day. You can have a good day. You can have a comeback day. Right. You're not out of it until the last day. And I thought that was a pretty good way to do it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. No, absolutely. Do you guys play? You guys play heads up. You're both nines. And Kelsey, what's Kelsey? 
Or no strokes there. No, this is no, the, yeah, we didn't play. We didn't play. Oh, play Stableford. Stableford. Okay, got yeah, it. It's Stableford. Sta- Stableford, and also yeah. we're all we're all pretty much in the same zone. Got it. We kind yeah. of finish in that bottom third. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's a good time. Have you played with Kelsey yet? I I was lucky. The first couple of years, I got to play with Mahomes and Kelsey. Uh, the first couple of years they played, um, probably because I was a Kansas City guy, and, and right. I, but we all got so I got to play with them a couple years, and then they moved on to playing with like Timberlake and you know all the cool story, yeah, Justin. All, <laughs> all the all the all the like the 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 groups that follow. It's almost like Arnie's Army. Uh, uh, where well, you can you can spot where Mahomes and Tim right, and right. Kelsey are on the court because it, it's it's probably I'm not joking twenty thousand people just moving wherever they're going. Imagine Tiger. Oh I mean, yeah, I'm, same thing. I remember, remember those but, yeah. swaths of people. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and then and then there's Brian, there's me, <laughs> there's Cable Guy. <laughs> Everybody's like, all right, well, when's Timberlake coming through again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. We're nailing people with our with off the tee box. You know, we're constantly apologizing uh, to the gallery for. Sorry, hitting guys. Them. Sorry. Do sorry. they do they sorry. widen the gallery for certain guys? You know, no, what's funny is, no, they, they don't. They don't. I, you know, my 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 favorite slash least favorite apology is 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 to my caddy, which is like I hit one really far right, which means a long walk for both of us. <laughs> sorry, and guys. it's just the start, and I'm like, sorry, man. Sorry, I don't know what. Sorry, you got a great caddy too, by the way. I love oh, your caddy. He's entertaining. He's. he's a, a, I've all these years. I've done it all, right? Yeah. So, like when I started going there, yeah. it was. I want a local guy who knows the greens and <laughs> right. who can help get me around this course. Yeah. And then you spend, you know, literally what you know with a practice round and three round. You know, you're spending like. 30 hours with the person yeah and you're like that wasn't as much fun as i want to have yes, yeah. it could be a lot more fun a lot you... more fun yeah. and now i you know and, and this it doesn't give me any advantage at all let's be clear but i i believe now yeah. including the good guys i'll even go that far i can't hit it where i want to i feel like i know the greens as well as anyone like right. no one is going to help me on the greens anymore. I, I, you know, it'll be like, is it moving this much or only this? M-? But we're talking about fraction. I know which way it's going. I know when it's fast. I know when it's up. I know when it's down. Um. So now I just I choose a friend and we go out and just try to have a good time. I think that's that. always the best part. I think because it's not just the golfers. You get to know their caddies. Do you get to choose yeah. your your friends and caddies? Yeah. You do. Yeah. You get to pick your own friends to you be pick, caddies. You could pick anybody. Out of all anyone. the friends you anyone. want. I could, you could pick, pick like I could pick anyone. Anyone. Anyone like at the table. It, at this table. I could even pick you. <laughs> Amazingly, I could. <laughs> you could? I could. But it's a lot of fun. Oh. Um I, I didn't know that you could choose me and I, frankly I I'm I'm sad that you didn't and oh. I'm excited that you might. Oh. So okay. thank you. Yeah, focus oh. on that. Come on. Boom. Focus. Focus on that. <laughs> Focus on that for a while. <laughs> but uh, you do get to know yes. the other players, caddies, just as well as yeah. you get to know. And there are, I mean, it's delightful. Yeah. Like, you get to meet, and then, you know, every evening there's a social thing. Like, I'm telling you, this is the best tournament on earth. It That's really awesome. is yeah. the best tournament. And and in the evenings, there's always, you know, get-togethers and socials and that kind of stuff. And so you get to know them even better off the course or whatever. So you become friends, and every year, you, if you're lucky and you get invited back, you know, it just kind of keeps going, and you get to know uh, these people better and better. And it's almost like an annual trip that you're taking with your friends. Yeah, summer it's, camp. It's really cool. Yeah. It are you in, you're in Southern Cali? I am. Okay. So yeah. You, you mentioned you Tori. Keep- Sorry. No, no. I, I jumped on you. Say it again. You mentioned Tory Pines. Is, is that a course you played a bunch? Um, you know, Tory Pines is cra- Tory Pines is 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 crazy because so yeah, I live down in North uh, uh San Diego now and um the Tory is th- these facts will be slightly wrong. I apologize to the city of San Diego, but Torrey Pines is a municipal golf course. It is. It is a city. It is a city of San Diego golf course. So if you live in the city of San Diego, you it's like forty dollars to play Torrey Pines South. If you don't, it's like four hundred. Oh. 
That's now insane. we're gonna we're gonna approximate those. So um, what happens is is that unless you are willing, which I am not, to be off at six thirty in the morning, <laughs> right. like go out and and there are guys who do it, like the first tea time, second tea time. Yeah, you. I, would I be... purchased glow in the dark, glow in the dark balls off Amazon because I used to tee it in the dark, like on one. Yeah, and I would be it make off before sunlight. Makes no, make no, it makes no, no sense. sense. I do no have sense. a life, um, but I <laughs> um, unless you do that, the, here's the the problem is is that the 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 people who have spent four hundred ish dollars, they're like. Yeah, you you want to see if there's some whales out there? Like, yeah. let's take a bunch of pictures of the coastline and mm. this par three, and so it's like five and a half hours. So I have mm. I, I I don't I don't play it very Dude. often. Weirdly, I think the last time I played it was like they had closed it down, and uh, I think NBC invited me. It was like the Monday after the you know the U.S. Open, which that tells you it's been I don't know three years or something. Yeah. That may be the last time I played. Wow. Oh, wow. All yeah. right. So do you hit into them and scream pace of play? No. I, you can't. You can, No, you can't even do that. I <laughs> I will tell you, though, if you haven't played Tori, um, there is no – I. they talk about it on TV, and I don't know how – I maybe somewhere over in Europe, meaning Ireland or something like that, um, it's not like that wispy fescue. It is – the thickest rough meaning just off the fairway right i th in the world as far as any place i have ever played and it is not even close yeah. so much so that once you know even the farmers is happening mm -hmm. and it, and they go uh they go car path only and you tee off and your ball goes into the rough you're at about a 50 50 chance of whether you're going to find it that is oh, it, absolutely. And, and, and by the way, that the 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 for the Farmers Open and anytime you play down there, whether whatever, whatever it is, the fairways are the most narrow fairways I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, That's, that is so. Nice. So you're you're almost guaranteed to be in that nightmare. You got to play a really yeah. good game. I, I got to go. I I have not played Tori. I need to go play it once. Yeah, yeah. I need to it's, use it's your, your driver's license, Brian, so I can play the forty bucks, please. Yeah. <laughs> well, our hairline is similar, but other than that, I don't know if that. They're would not work. gonna. They're not gonna check. No. They'll just, they'll just look at the address. I got this. <laughs> What's the name of your chili book, by the way? We didn't talk about uh, that. Ser you know what's weird is I almost did it before. It's called Seriously Good Chili Cookbook. Um, oh, I mean, I can't. This is not intentional. Actually, oh, there's no. Oh, look, there. look. Oh, it is right there. Siri 177 look. of the best recipes in the world. And that's fine. That's, this is, this is, in fact, it's awesome. I love it. Um, seriously you Good. Do you Seriously compete in chili cook-offs? Seriously good barbecue cookbook coming out in June. Boom. Oh, nice. Two-time cookbooker? That's weird way to say that. No, that's phrase. the exact right way to say it. Have yeah. you ever competed in a chili cook-off? You know, I feel as though if it wasn't blind, it would be cheating. Um, but I have not. Uh, have I? That's a good question. It's a question not, I can't remember. Not, but what I to... what I have done is I have judged the world championship chili oh, cook off. Wow. This is not like a self branded thing. This thing has been going on well over fifty years. I don't know how where we're at, fifty five, fifty eight, whatever years now. Um takes place now in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I have been a judge there the last three years. It is in tense it is insane it is delicious um it's one of the my favorite things that i i do now just seeing not just the chili that's made but the culture that's created around this and everyone who's there has won like their own state right uh or so these, region are, or, these are competitors these are these serious are these are serious competitors yeah and you know, they know each other and there's been you know like a a you know a, a real Truly, a culture that's been created around it. I find it beautiful, um, and so I, I really do enjoy that.
That is awesome. That that sounds fun. Have you been now Myrtle Beach, golf capital of the world? I'm sure that helps get you out there. Um, <laughs> uh, but also, I'm sure people are trying to slip you envelopes full of cash. Yes, it's well, being a judge. it is, <laughs> dude. Like because the stakes real? are high. The stakes I, are the stakes are high. The money is legit. Yeah, and it is a uh, it is like twelve different ways, totally blind, anonymous. No, I mean the rules like you can't look anyone in the eye. You know when the chili is turned in, it has their own number on it, but then the number is changed to another number which represents this thing. And when we come in, we're walking around the table, and there are bowls of chili around the table, and you're you just you taste it, and you then you have a number and you rank it, and then that corresponds to another number, which is a. It, it, I mean, it's a whole wow. There's yeah. well, no they, way, and to I'm know. sure they had to put those those uh, uh, precautions in to prevent the hijinks, because I'm sure the hijinks got high at one point. Yeah, I'm told this may or may not be true, but a judge was once bribed with five billion dollars <laughs> it has to be it true it may not be true it has to be true yeah. but i think it that was back in true. the 70s because yeah, it's yeah, yeah, totally yeah. worth five billion dollars to win a chili cook-off <laughs> yeah well nationals hello nationals Nas- I, yeah, it's I get nationals. it nationals well, no it's different. world 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 oh this is oh what the hell world. am i talking about you know what kind of world. you know what kind of return you get on being the world chili champion you Obviously, get in my book more right than here. Billion, Seriously good chili cookbook. That's what you get. You <laughs> get to you be get. right in here. So what kind of chili do you yep. like? Are you are you do you need do you need spice? Do you need more meat than bean? Do you need more bean than meat? Um I uh weirdly, sorry, I, what my shenanigans with the thing, I turned on my television and that is probably going to be a prop done now. Thank you. Crisis uh-huh. averted. Um I I am a bean guy. You know, the, in Texas, they there there is a, a strict no bean policy, uh-huh. but uh, not wow. only yeah, no Texas bean. Don't don't care for the bean. No free no. no. Uh okay. but I I I believe in the bean, and specifically Bush's best chili beans, the best. I, I'm bean. feeling some sort of. Is there a sponsorship there, in here? I'm somewhere? feeling like there's. You may have been in business with these guys. I don't know why. No, I it's well, it gives I you that idea. No, I. I, I, that's just a strong I, personal recommendation. Do I, ha- I don't know if I have, do I have to say no? I mean, it just spontaneously came up, which that is true. Uh-huh. Uh, but yes, no, that, uh, being, um, but I, the thing about the cookbook and I, we were, I really didn't have it here to sell it, but, um, there's when I partly why the book came to be was, I thought there originally, truly thought there were like three kinds of chili, yeah. mild, medium, and hot. Like I'm, that's I'm right there with you. Yeah, yeah. But like green, green chili, white chicken chili, vegan, oh, yeah. vegetarian. Yeah. You've got uh, seafood. Uh, I mean, the, the kinds, and not just you know what you what you, the ingredients are in terms of a meat or non meat, but uh, the sauces and so forth. Um, and it was me going three years ago to the world championship chili cook-off. And I, I, I mean, the story truly is I was a judge and there were all these chilies that looked like regular chili, whatever that means, red or whatever. And then there was this white one. I'm like, how can this be like, what is this? Like who left this here? Yeah. And I tasted it and it was this white chicken, uh, smoked chicken, uh, chili. Oh. I tasted it. It was it was my number one. It ended up coming in number two overall, but it was mine. I was like, this is the most delicious thing ever. And I was like, this is chili. This counts like this is. And then that's when someone was like, oh, no, there's there's I'm, tons. And I started doing some more research on it. And that's when we started collecting recipes and put together the book. I'm not kidding. You you describing that white chicken chili with a smoked chicken. I, my mouth started watering like Pavlovian style. Is it in there? Oh, look at so, it. So. Have you ever had to so try a chili uh, at any of these competitions or any sort of chili-centric uh, environment where you went, <laughs> where you actually took a bite and you went, oh, my God, this is gross, yeah. like really yes. gross? Yeah. Yes. What do you yes. do? Do you just throw up or do you just like go? You just, yeah. So- you scream diarrhea and throw it against the wall? <laughs> that seems extreme, but <laughs> I guess it's a valid question. 
I mean, here's the thing the the you know the what is it Iron Chef right where they're timed. Mm-hmm. I mean the 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 there are very specific rules sure. for even the the World Championship. So like you have a certain amount of time when you can start and you have to start at just pure ingredients and go to the end. And so I think it's it, it's almost not a ref- well I think it's not a reflection on the chefs themselves or whatever. Sometimes just things go wrong, right? Or right. you know it's like some you know a a vegetable a spice maybe is not quite right or and then they try to compensate with doing something and that doesn't kind of work um most of the time uh and i was warned about this trick and it's funny now if i just if i if i if i have a hint of it i'm like ugh, like uh, like i'm some purist or i know what i'm talking about (laughs) but it's people will try to they'll put sugar in it to try to make it sweet yeah. to make you like it yeah and now if i taste like a sweet sugar i'm like oh ah your palate's and become refined not, oh your yeah, palate's become refined, refined in this chili you're world. A chili princess mm-hmm. oh, oh absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Tell you? all yeah. right uh, now i got it because i don't want to run out of time before i ask this because the the fans the people the that love you love the show the office they want to know they want to know things uh okay. and and so they 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 uh one of the things i'm sure they want to know is what was your favorite episode do you have one um i or, and for any reason it could be any reason whether it made you laugh whether you thought it was yeah a, yeah whatever I it was i think uh i will i'll answer it the following way i think that in terms of like pure emotion there are different ones i think diversity day episode two maybe was one of the best <laughs> i think um well, obviously, Booze Cruise with Captain Jack. Hey, Sorry, what? I what? Almost, I Hold almost on for, a minute. I, wait, I almost forgot <laughs> that one. Hey, but the, uh, come on. Come no, on. That, that was a big episode. 27 seconds of silence uh, <laughs> occurred in that episode. No, for real. 27 seconds. Have you ever seen the old video? There was an old video going around that made everyone cry on the internet. There was a pause between Jim and Pam. Uh-huh. The first time he was about to say "I love you," yes, and there was yes. twenty-seven seconds of silence. Um, that's famous. I didn't, know, in its I didn't know it was twenty-seven seconds. That's 20, a long I, stretch. God, Twenty. It's a long time. Yeah, that's a you want to you feel it right now? No, you don't. No, no. Let's feel like, ten. Let's just feel ten. Think, let's I don't just, think we've created the tension to justify it. That's part of the deal well, let's, there. Let's, let's, just, let's just do five. Let's force. Okay. Let's force a hard ten. All right, you no, guys. No, no. Ready? Go. That's 10. That's 10. That's and you're 10. talking 27 Almost of those? Almost three of those. <laughs> Almost three of those? Wow. That's insane. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot of communication between the eyes. Yeah. It's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of love. I love making. Yeah. Um. So, but my answer uh, always now is, one, I think it's, it's well-rounded episode, but I also, for me now, what was happening outside uh, of it, um, always signal. Oh, by the way, Booze Cruise, no joke. Booze Cruise is when um, the majority of the cast became series regulars. Yes, that's actually a good. That's a that's a fun fact for you there. That is a fun fact. Um, I was at, at Long Beach on the docks when I got the call that um, life was going to be very different. So oh, anyway, that's fantastic. Yes. Uh, the uh, stress relief, which is known as the Dwight fake fire drill episode. And what people who watch the show on Netflix don't know is that episode, that moment, that fake fire drill mm-hmm. happened immediately after the Super Bowl. That was when it aired. And so for me, it was the first Super Bowl I ever went to, which weirdly was in Tampa. We were discussing it earlier. Yeah. Uh, the Steelers and the Cardinals. Oh, yeah. With, uh, Great catch. Santana Holmes with, making with, that tiptoe with catch. With the catch, yes, yeah. which we were just together, and I told that story. Uh, that, uh, but that, that episode for me is, is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, good. That's, That's awesome. good to know. That's uh, good to know. I, I think your fans might want to know what's next for you on the acting front. Yeah. You know, it, uh, that's a great question. I'm so pleased and happy to, uh, be the voice of Walter the bear in uh, trash truck there on netflix that's a lot of that has been so much fun with the uh the amazing 
uh, Glenn Keane uh, productions who, you know, oh, just he just animated the beast and Ariel <laughs> and it's like cool. what every no big whoop. Disney yeah. thing. Just won an Oscar with Kobe Bryant for Deer Bask. I mean, just like nothing. That's been a, a huge, huge uh, pleasure for me. And I was in uh, this uh, show that uh, unfortunately was launched during the strike, uh, kind of waiting to hear back uh, if it's going to come back again. But a, a, a show from Hulu called The Other Black Girl based on a, a wildly successful best-selling uh, novel uh, with Eric McCormick and Bellamy Young and a bunch of uh, amazing uh, I've seen young some advertising, actors. I think. I think I've seen some advertising about that. Yeah. So that's been fun and and you know, whatever's 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 next is whatever comes whatever comes next. Yeah, well that's the actor's life, isn't it? I, I yeah, agree, it is. you know, it's like we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what comes we'll, down the we'll road. Let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, th Brian, thank you so much for for hanging out with us today, man. You are a legend. Thank you. You Brian. are uh, a joy to be around. I love playing golf with you. I love hanging out with you. I look forward to Tahoe, brother. Yeah, uh, you as well. You guys uh, keep doing what you're doing, and thank you for having me on. And uh, you know, we'll come back. I'll do some. I'll do some some picks when uh, when football's back. I love that. Absolutely. And I might have some, I might send you some chili and, and make you test it on the air. I love that. All yeah, right. Let, let, let's just go. Just between I'm... him and me, who's got the better? That'll be yeah. the contest we'll, we'll do with, bro. One on one chili off? Yes. Okay. And let's go play golf. I'll give you guys each five aside and we'll just go. Oh, my God. Five aside. We got it, let's baby. Go. Oh, there we go. $10,000. Awesome. Or, <laughs> or, or we can play this. We'll play you two against me, best ball. You, between your best score on the, on the hole versus my score, match play. I like the sound of that too. Wait, match play. Wait, wait, wait. And we each get five aside. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, yes. No, yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes. no. No. Don't if get, we're gonna do it's best all, ball, it's recorded. It's recorded. Uh, hundred. It's recorded. Hundred thousand. No, if we're gonna do best ball, we go straight up because you guys got two against one. <laughs> I'm down. Let's go. Uh, that uh, sounds like fun, actually. All right. all right. Thank you, Brian. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, bud. See you talk, later. Talk to you later. All Bye. right. All right. I don't like your guy's math. What? I just don't like it. You're out of your mind. I like you. He's great. But your math is whack. My math is soups tight. No. That's what the kids say. Yeah, when things are soups tight. This is not soups tight. This is soups tight. My math is soups tight. My facts are soups tight. My shirt's soups tight. Yeah. I meant to ask him uh, uh, about the, the basketball tournament. March Madness. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Kansas Jayhawks are here, mm -hmm. uh, and I believe they're going to win like I do every year. Right. I pick them every year. And, of course, most of the time I'm pretty close. I'm pretty right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Kansas turns out a lot of – Champions? Or, yeah. Yeah. Kansas Kansas turns out a lot of champions. We do. We're guilty. <laughs> guilty. It's – you know what? Have you ever heard of uh, sportsmanship? <sighs> yes. Was that a disease? No, it's not a disease. What it is. Are you it, sure it's not a disease that English sailors suffered from? No, they did not suffer from sportsmanship. Uh, then I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Well, when you go, guilty as charged, ah, and you do that, that stuff. It's, you make it sound ugly. It's it's like gloating, you know. It's, it just it feels like you're like condescending to uh, uh, all the other sports fans. So when you climb to the top of the mountain and you're the only one on top, uh -huh. um, you sit down and cry. No, 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 no. I go like this. I did this. Uh -huh. Who wants to come join me? Right. Oh. Like it's very inclusive. Like I'm like I'm like ah, suck it, you know. Okay, well, a that, lot of people climb and get to the top of the mountain, and it, it costs them blood, sweat, and tears to get to the top of the mountain. Right. Once they're on top of the mountain, mm -hmm. they need to remind those that did not make it. Got it. To suck it. Okay. That's that's exactly the, Okay, I'm getting that vibe, so I get it now. And you, it's not just suck it, but it's also F you, you can mm -hmm. smoke a turd in hell. Okay. You know, these type of- It seems aggressive. It's super aggressive. Yeah. Soups. Aggressive, right. as the kids say. Are we doing that again? I'm just telling you, I'm down. I got, I'm down with the street vernacular of the youth. 
Okay. I don't think vernacular is a real popular youthful phrase it's, or word. It's the the youth. Bro, that. how's your vernacular, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not hearing that too much from the kids. Well, you don't spend a lot of time at the shopping malls. That sounds creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. Well, thanks for nothing. Hey, by the way, this has been Riggles Picks. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. You're very welcome, <laughs> Rob. This has been Riggles Picks. I'm Rob Riggle. I'm Darren Leader. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you <laughs> next time. Later. <laughs> you don't spend time at shopping mall.